going on? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope everything is fantastic in your life. I'm all right. Still blind as a bat. I'm not really blind. I, uh... It hurts to stare at screens for a while, so kind of hard to do these videos right now and, and then edit them on top of it and upload it and all that fun stuff that I have to do to provide beautiful content for you beautiful, beautiful people. Um, but hope you're doing amazing. And I uh, just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Hopefully I do not disappoint. So today's video, we got ourselves something from Dark Matter. He is a um I don't know anything about him actually i just i'll tell you i'll be straight up i just youtube scary videos and i just started looking through a bunch of crap found this guy he's got a lot of views a lot of positive feedback and uh he seems to put a lot of care into his content so uh that's that's what we're gonna do today's specific video is Mysterious videos from around the internet to volume one. So we don't know. We don't know what we're getting right now. We have no idea. We're getting something. No freaking clue. Hopefully it's good. Let's give it a go, shall we? Every week sees the release of multiple mysterious videos. However, some of these defy explanation. So from a Mexican witch to a violent ghost. Join us. Recently uploaded, this video was filmed somewhere in Montreal, Canada. The videographer films the moon on a daily basis. However, in his latest look, he apparently captured these UFOs. Incredibly, based on the size of their shadows, they would have to be massive. Yeah. Let's go back to that one. I want to double check that one. That indeed is mysterious. I have no clue what that could be. That would have to be, you know, pretty large. If we're scaling it with this whole fucking planet, then... Yeah, oh, well, I guess rock, moon. Uh, uh, giant thing in the sky. You know, fuck you. Um, it'd have to be pretty large, Harrison. That is interesting. That would... But for all of these videos, I want you guys to put in the comments section of what you think it might be. Because you guys come up with some crazy shit that I don't even think about. I later read and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's genius. You guys are fucking smart, so I need you to help me with this crap. In this next video, a woman is casually walking down the street when she is suddenly and violently thrown by an unseen farce. What the fuck? The only thing I can think of is that something is attached to her, and it has to do with that truck driving by. That's the only thing I can think of that would... Mm, that could throw her away like that. Ouch, by the way. Fucking ouch. She got just ragdolled, just, just hurled. Ouch. That would really freaking... I hope she's okay. My God. Mysteriously, while some blame a chain, others maintain there is nothing there. As such, if this isn't the answer, what kind of force would be able to throw over a person with such ease? Crazy. Took her right off her feet. In recent years, the phenomena of frozen planes has become a hot topic among paranormal enthusiasts. Usually credited to the simulation theory, most of the videos can be explained. However, this one continues to puzzle viewers. Shot by Atlanta resident Sebastian Badajas, 
It shows a private plane frozen in midair. Initially, some skeptics blame the wind, yet the banner behind the plane doesn't reflect this. Hmm. Eventually, after over a minute, the plane finally resumes its flight, but what caused it to freeze in the first place? That's really strange. Isn't it? Isn't that just like an optical illusion? Like, I don't know shit about that theory, that simulation glitch theory that's going on because I don't really give a fuck about theories um but isn't that like an optical illusion most of the time just that you're moving at like a certain like rate of speed in that plane that distance moving at a certain rate of speed just kind of makes it look like that I don't know I mean I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for that but it is kind of trippy though little is known about this next video although it's believed to have been filmed in Russia. If that is the case, then this father and son may have captured the old master, the Russian Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot, huh? Can't get rid of him. Don't you love that camera quality? Oh yeah, look at that camera quality. This is beautiful. Oh yeah. Look at that. Compared to most Bigfoot footage, do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Is that something you guys are into? Is that because I'm so indifferent on that? Like, and I don't like that there's like, because if I wanted to lean towards there being, you know, me believing in Bigfoot, I'm also immediately associated with the fucking cult that follows it, the freaking like redneck hicks like doing things. I think like uh. All gas, no brakes to an episode on them, I and mean, it is some, those are some wild people, man. Those are some interesting individuals, and I am not one of them. So it makes me steer away from being a believer in Bigfoot. But what do you guys think? This one has little to no skeptics, and is considered to be one of the best videos out there. In particular, people draw attention to its massive shoulders and elongated arms, both of which seem to make a hoax unlikely. Mm. Interesting. On May 17th, 2006, a mysterious entity was filmed flying over the Nueve Leon Mountains in Mexico. According to those who captured the video, it appeared to be wearing a cape, an observation that led to theories it was a witch. fuck that is very strange eerily in support of this claim two policemen revealed that they had seen a similar or identical witch that same day una persona vestida de negro así con plumas dos garras negras así negras ah, me asusto y hay cuenta que no well, me I mean, así pero ella iba agachada sure it's like a it's not the same at all, actually, from what we just saw. It's, it's totally different from what we saw. Explaining. Uh, we saw a white mist going up a hill. He's talking about some fucking thing out of a horror movie. Long black hair, hanging down, long claws, everything's dark, black, bleak. Blah, 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 blah. We saw a white mist going up a hill. That's what we saw. That's different. Entonces, me hago para atrás, me meto otra vez al cuarto donde estaba, y de este lado, al cerro la puerta, venía otro. Según él. Una noche cuando vigilaba este lote de autos, recibió la visita de dos seres que volaban sobre el Panteón de Santa Catarina, ubicado a espaldas del cerro donde fue grabada la enigmática figura. Dos años antes, Leonardo Samaniego relató un encuentro similar. Curiosamente, él también era un policía. Estaba vestido de negro y traía unos ojos grandes. Usted es morena. Mm. Pero ya no me cansé de ver más. Estaba vestido de negro y traía un gorro con una punta hacia atrás. Long pointy hat. Pero no tenía nada de... Like the Halloween decorations, he was flying. Th if he says on a broom, I'm gonna lose my shit. However, some skeptics maintain that the supposed witch is actually just a bunch of blooms, 
yet those who saw it are insistent it was supernatural. Hmm. I don't know, it could be a plethora of things. Used in multiple public hero videos, this clip initially seems to depict the close call rescue of a bystander. However, when researchers look closer, what seemed like an ordinary fall now appeared to be the result of paranormal interference. Eerily, it's when drunk. zoomed in, you can see a faint apparition, one that seems to actively push the bystander. No, I'm pretty sure that person was just fucking wasted or something. I'm good. I mean, if someone's... See, see, the thing is, is if you've ever felt something touch you or push you or shove you that isn't actually there, you catch yourself. You're still aware. You could be doing anything, and you'd still be like, oh, what the fuck? You'd still be aware. This person, the whole time in that slow-ass push, did nothing to try and save themselves from falling at all. Not a single thing. Was he standing sleeping? I think not. I think he downed a fifth of fucking tequila or something. You're drunk. I'll even go to say that he was just beyond exhausted from working 90-hour weeks or whatever. You know, like, a person wasn't there. He fucking was standing when he shouldn't have been. And he fell over. Or she. Whoever. Fell the fuck over, landed on the tracks. I'm not going to play paranormal for that. If someone pushes you, you catch yourself. And it wasn't, he wasn't shoved with such immense force that he wasn't grounded. The dude literally just, like, fell over like a building for, like, a couple seconds, actually. If we timed it, I'm sure it was a few seconds of him falling. Or she. Whoever. I don't... I'm, ah! Now I'm mad. <laughs> this ain't paranormal. Some drunk person. Then once the woman falls on the tracks, it stays in place for a few seconds before disappearing. And that camera is such poor quality, it could be anything. Like, that looks like a ghost right there. That person doesn't look like it has a head, or like a shiny, bright, white head. Like, it... On April 8th, 1994, the music world was shaken when the Vanna frontman, Kurt Cobain, was found dead in his home, apparently having committed suicide. However, some fans are adamant he was murdered likely on the orders of his wife, Courtney Love. To investigate this theory, filmmaker Nick Broomfield met with musician Al Duce, who claimed Love had offered him $50,000 to kill Cobain. Mm. But did she tell you how she wanted you yeah, to talk to him? Yeah, she just blow his fucking head off. I got the shotgun. But she didn't say anything about Make making it look it like, look like, like suicide. suicide. Well, yeah, but if you just blew his brains out like you said, it wouldn't look like suicide. It looked like you blew his brains right. out, right? But, uh, I told Alan... I mean, uh, my friend, who... <laughs> mm. uh, I'll let the FBI catch him, but, uh... As seen, he accidentally mentions a person called Alan, now believed to be fellow musician Alan Wench. Mysteriously, Wench was the last person to see Ducci alive before he was found dead a few days later. Still, the mystery isn't over just yet. Near the end of the aforementioned interview, an unknown woman seems to scream out, help us. Hey, 50 grand does a lot of talking. Yeah, you buy me a beer, well. I might do some more talking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Interesting. It acts strange. Whilst sure. most have heard of the mainstream 9-11 conspiracies, one controversial theory proposes that United 93 was actually empty when it crashed. Supposedly, the passengers were removed from the plane and subsequently murdered. To prove this, various point to the voicemail from CC Lyles, a flight attendant on United 93. Hi baby, I'm... Baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane, I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that... We too can notice the absence of the typical background noise heard inside a plane. I don't know what to say. There's three guys, they've hijacked the plane. I'm trying to be calm. Mysteriously, before CC hangs up, 
She whispers the words, it's a frame. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. Interesting. Even by playing the segment several times, it remains difficult to hear anything different from the words, it's a frame. Hmm. Whilst there are plenty of UFO sightings, this one has the added benefit of a mysterious leaked video. Years before its release, in December 2009, these two videos were uploaded to YouTube. Shot in Moscow, they appear to show the same pyramid-shaped UFO. After the release of this footage, sightings of the pyramid went quiet. Then in 2018, this UFO was caught above the Pentagon. See, the thing is, is that Mr. you gotta take into consideration if this is completely real and, you know, real, everyone and their freaking mother it would be taught in schools. It would become like a whole ordeal. You gotta take that into consideration here. So, it's kind of hard to say. It wouldn't just be some small video on the internet. It would be massive global news. Because that's pretty crazy. Just, just take this specific video with a bit of a grain of salt, you know? Seriously, around the same time, this leaked video found its way online. Allegedly taken at a UN closed meeting in New York, a woman reveals the Pentagon Pyramid was extraterrestrial in nature. Interestingly, she is now identified as Alaya Prokofieva, the real founder of the private space company, Galactica. See, that one's interesting because that one, if it was a hoax, it would have to be... They, they put a lot of work into that, you know? But it's, it just falls under that. If this if that was a real situation and, like, thing about this was real, it would be massive global news. People would be freaking the hell out. I mean, hell, people went crazy and bought out all the goddamn toilet paper because of COVID. Something like this would be just astronomically large everyone would know about it it would be insane insane but i'm gonna leave your opinions to you guys and i want to see them in the comment section i want to see what you guys have to say about the videos that we saw and what you think and you surely you might have more information than me no i'm i'm a stupid youtuber i i just go off of what i see and make dumb comments but you guys, you guys have the time, brains to look at crap. 
you guys might have a really good opinion or, you know, facts to throw up my way and shut me up. Just, I want to see it. I want to see it. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and just being here. Um, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you aren't already, please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Click that big old red button right there. Just, just that thing. Please do it. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next one.